Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to be going through 2021 AMC 12A Problem 25. It says, let d of n denote the number of positive integers that divide n, including 1 and n. And then they give us this function f of n, and they let it be d of n over cube root of n. And we're trying to find some unique integer n such that f of n is greater than all other values of the function. And we're trying to find the sum of the digits of n. So in this problem, what the key observation is, is that it's a multiplicative function. So for f of 2, this is equal to the number of divisors of 2 over the cube root of 2. And f of 3 is equal to the number of divisors of 3 over the cube root of 3. And we have to notice is that f of 6 is equal to f of 2 times f of 3. And it's multiplicative only when the two things you're multiplying are relatively prime. And this is the case because they don't share divisors, because they are prime, of course, and then their cube root can be expressed as the numbers broken down into their product, because the cube root of 6, for example, is the cube root of 2 times the cube root of 3. So what this problem actually breaks down to, rather than this complicated expression, is just finding for each prime, where f of n is the largest, and then multiplying all these together to find our capital N, where N is the largest. So let's start by looking at powers of 2. We have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. And we're trying to find for what value is f of n the largest. So for f of 2, we have 2 over cube root of 2. For f of, f of 4, we have 3 over the cube root of 2. For f of 8, we have 4 over the cube root of 2. Sorry. This should be the cube root of 4, 2, 4, and 8. Four over the cube root of 8, this is just 2. And we'll notice that f of 16 is where it starts to decrease. We have 5 over the cube root of 16. This is less than 2. So f of 8 is actually our largest. So that tells us that the power of 2 we want is 2 cubed. Now let's look at our powers of 3. We have 3, 9, 27, so on. f of 3 is equal to 3 over the cube root of 3, sorry, 2 over the cube root of 3. f of 9 is equal to 3 over the cube root of 9. f of 27 is equal to 3. So four, sorry, 4 over the cube root of 27. This is just 4 over 3. And we'll notice that f of 9 is actually larger than 4 over 3. So that tells us that f of 9 is the largest value that we have. So we want a power of 2 for our prime 3. Now we can continue with our next prime, 5. So in the case of 5, f of 5 is equal to 5 over the cube root of, sorry, 2 over the cube root of 5. f of 25 is equal to 3 over the cube root of 25. And this is immediately smaller than f of 5, so we only want one power of 5. Now we can notice that for f of 7, we'll have something similar. We have 2 over the cube root of 7. This is still larger than 1, so we do want to include it in our product, but f of 49 is less than f of 7, so we don't want to go any farther than 1 power of 7. At this point, we can see that all other primes, such as f of 11, f of 13, we don't want any other primes because f of 11 is equal to 11 over the cube root, sorry, 2 over the cube root of 11, and this is less than 1. And that means that when we multiply it together, it's actually going to be reducing our product rather than increasing it. Same thing for f of 13. 2 over the cube root of 13 is less than 1. So we don't want any of these products. We only want to multiply our 3 twos, 2 threes, 1 5, and 1 7. That number is 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5 times 7, which is 2 5 2 0. And we're trying to find the sum of the digits of n and in this case, it's going to be 9. So our answer is E. So the key thing in this problem was that 
for all numbers n is greater than 8 that are prime, f of n is going to be less than 1. So we don't want them. And this problem was surprisingly easy for a number 25 because of a meta-solving solution. We could have quickly realized that our number should have a, a power of 2 because powers of 2, there is at least some power of 2 that has, that evaluates to something more than 1. Same thing for powers of 3. It evaluates to more than 1, so we definitely should be including that factor in our final product for it to be as large as possible. And this tells you immediately that our number must have a sum that's divisible by 3. And from here, if you have two threes, we know that the sum must be divisible by 9. So there's actually no need to continue at this point because if it is divisible by 3 squared, the sum has to be a multiple of 9. And the only number out of our answer choices that's a multiple of 9 is e. You can also just guess this problem by thinking that it probably has an e in it. So our answer choice is likely going to be either b or e and then take your shot 50-50. So there is a couple of different meta-solving ways to solve this or just cut off your problem early. So that made this problem pretty easy to guess and also not that difficult to solve if you made the key observations that you could break down the function into different primes and then work out which power of the prime would work best to maximize our product. And that would give you this number. Thank you all for watching. That's all we have for this video. For more math content, please sure to like and